What's going on, YouTubers? Drag Wings 86 coming at you from Rising, Arkansas. My little slice of heaven. What we're doing here today is so we're going to sandblast this cab. Or finish sandblasting it, anyways. I've marked the spots that I really need to blast. I've marked it with marking paint, as you can see. Uh, she's on the full board there. So that sand in it from last time. And I have marked all inside the cab places I need to hit with the sandblaster. All up in there. And anyway. Uh, one thing I have learned with these trucks, this plate here and this plate here will stay in place because the uh, you can see the pillar here is kind of rotted out but this place do stay in place on this side on this side my dad and I had learned that this plate here won't stay in place I guess the bracket that's behind it that holds it in place is rotted out and why it is I don't know because this pillar don't look as bad as that pillar over there I guess the rust traveled up a little further. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, it is what it is. And we're just going to deal with it and move on. And I'm, I'm going to re-sandblast all of this. As you see, it's marked with that orange marking paint. I'm going to hit this side. Get all that residue out of there. Sticky residue from the glue from the floor mat that was in it originally. I got hit the firewall up there. Uh... There's the dash. Okay, I know you can't see much of it because the sun is out and it's kind of bright. But anyway, there's the roof. You can't see much of it. But there it is. Uh, okay, what we're using for sandblasting is a Honda 2500 PSI pressure washer. Uh, it needs the carburetor cleaned or something done with it because it won't run at full throttle and I think the carburetor's kind of stopped up and I think I need to go back through it. Uh, right now, we are bleeding the air out of it because if you don't bleed the air out of these, when you start them, over time the pump will get weak and it basically it burns the pump up. So, so what you need to do is get all the air out of them and it usually takes about 10 minutes worth of water running through it to get the air out of it, if not longer. Okay, and what we're going to use for sandblasting here is this trash can that we have filled up with dry sand. Here's the sandblasting apparatus. It's a piece of metal pipe on a, looks like a braided uh, hose, clear hose as you can see. And on the other end of it, is this nozzle here. Uh, one thing we have learned by using this, it works pretty dang good, but one thing we have learned with it is while you're using it, keep this up. Because if you flop it down, it'll still work, but water gets in here, and sometimes even with it pointing up, water still gets in it. And you have to stop and take it apart and blow it out with compressed air and dry it out and it'll go back to working but anyway we're getting ready to do some sandblasting on this it's probably going to be a part one of two part video um, the next video y'all y'all will see me sandblasting it uh, so anyway go to the next video and you'll see me sandblasting this cab Anyways, uh, that's all I got for right now. And, uh, you have to excuse me, my allergies are acting up on me. Uh, that's all I got for right now, though. Um, go to the other video, and, uh, thank you for watching.